Hee-haw! Sit right back, everybody. We're going to take a quick look at the dragonfly. All right, so we got the dragonfly out of the package, and I got to tell you, man, you know what? I wasn't expecting it to be this big. Um, I guess I was, in a way, but not really. This is over 23 inches long, and it's big. <laughs> I mean... So I got all the parts out. I did not look at the instructions, just like I said I was going not going to. The only thing I did was I put three AAA batteries right in this compartment for the light up systems. When I unwrapped, when I unwrapped the package, it had this little brace on the skids and it was tied with tape. So first of all, what I'll do is let me just take this little piece of tape off that's holding this cockpit canopy. So, anyways, um, when you hit the light the first time, what happens is the panel and everything illuminates in there, which is pretty cool. When you hit the light the second time, you get like these forward lights come on. Then you hit the light the third time, you get a light down on the bottom that also comes on. And then the third, fourth time, and then basically they come off. So this canopy, oh look, there's another sticky, I didn't even see it. Okay, so the canopy opens up. This is the canopy. Look at that. Flight gear, flight gear, um, seat belt, seat belt. Um, got some leg room up there. Got some leg room under the seat. So you'll be able to get both of your guys in there. Let's check it out. Uh, kind of light it up. The instrument panels look awesome in there. Okay. So we're going to assemble this thing. Well, let's just take this. Okay, so we open this up. Got a little side door right there with some missiles. Um, close that. You got this piece right here. Hatch opens up. Got access to the motor. On the other side. Same. And then up here, pretty much access to the other motor. That's pretty cool. I like it. Um, it's very nice. Got this like turret. I really like the uh, deco right there. They got that little dragonfly deco. That looks pretty good. Rescue right there. That is neat. Um, so these doors also pop open right here. And then this one from this side. Like that. That is kind of cool. And then let's see. Had already came loose. Right? Okay. Oh, I thought I broke it. I thought that broke, but it just popped loose from the hinge. I have to be very careful with that because what happened was um, that hinge, you can see, kind of stressed the plastic a little bit when I opened it. Kind of stress that plastic right there. Probably a little, little bit of a flock, but still works. Everything works. Okay, let's get this guy together. So we know these wings go on. Um, so I'm going to stick them on like that. Like that. And then this one right here. And then these pieces obviously go in here because those are the little rotor pieces or the um, ailerons or whatever they want to call them. And then you got these right here will go in like that. And then this just goes on the back, snaps, snaps in. Boom, man, that looks cool. Yeah, that's shaping up. All right, and then this piece right here just clicks in. Like that. Get ammo. All right. 
this piece will just go under a wing. I'm gonna figure out what side this should go on. Okay, so it's got a slot. So it's designed to go basically one way. I'm gonna put mine in here. And that's so that this cranks on the outside. All right, we got these pieces here and basically they're designed to go in here. So they're gonna go in like that. And these are the whole, like the side weapons, obviously. Got these, um, kind of like these ones right here, just because I feel like uh, these kind of give me a uh, 18 vibe. <laughs> okay, so the rocket packs right here. Gonna go on right here. Oh, you know what? Interchangeable, like I don't need the rocket packs. I can actually use these, which I kind of like. So I think I'm gonna just load these up. And then you got these two cool sidewinders on the side or whatever they are. These just snap on. And they come with all these really cool missile effects. This will snap onto that and then it will be like the smoke trail for those. Then you got all these like little uh, effects here too. That is really cool. You got this one gun right here. That will go underneath the other wing. So this little missile piece will fit right in there like that. And then this gun will go right in there and seat up. And basically what happens is like that little gun pack will look like it's feeding this gun, which has an up and down tilt, everybody. So that is kind of cool. Um, don't need the side to side. This one's definitely got side to side here. That is really cool. So anyways, you got the dragonfly. The other thing I wanted to point out on this is these pieces right here have some working motion. These pieces also have some motion. And then the last thing I'm gonna throw on are basically these blades and they'll just snap in like that. And you're gonna need some good clearance because you definitely don't wanna chop anybody's head off. All right, so I got this really old G.I. Joe helicopter. Um, it's the yellow one and you can see the size of it, this is for a 12 inch, those are for six inches. But it's got this little mechanism built in. You just push a button and the rotors turn. Then it's also got the little hook on there. I think that's pretty cool. So I've had this for a long time. I've been waiting since the classified came out, uh, hoping that one day they were gonna do a helicopter. I really hope they come out with some of those adventure team figures. I think like an adventure team helicopter would be really cool for them to do. All right, so we got the attack helicopter ready to go. And uh, we don't know if Top Gun Maverick wants to take it for a spin, but we're going to let Wild Bill take it for its first ride. All right, first of all, we want to talk about this. This is kind of modeled after the Bell AH-1 Cobra, and uh, it was a two-seater attack helicopter and stuff like that. Um, and I know on the original Dragonfly box, I think it had Wild Bill in the front seat. Now, both people who would be in this would be pilots. Right? That's why it was designed for either person to fly and there's a stick on in either the front or back. But technically, from my understanding, this helicopter, the pilot would sit in the back seat and the gunner would sit in the front seat because that seat offers more visibility and stuff like that. So the gunner would be in the front. So Wild Bill being the pilot should go in the back. And uh, let's just see how easy it is to get him in there. All right, so this is gonna be easier for you than it is for me because um, I have a camera blocking my view uh, setups. So let's get this seatbelt off. You can see if I just turn it like that, I get a little bit of play in that seatbelt. Okay, so, whew. So. Yeah, I think I just broke my seatbelt. I don't think it was supposed to like come all the way off. 
think that's why it does that. Anyways, darn it. Not happy about that, but that's okay. So anyways, we get this guy in here. I'm gonna leave his legs straight. Take his hat off so we can get this upper belt around him. Put his hat back on. I, I can glue that piece back in. It's fine. Aslap. Anyways, I wonder if they'll replace that seatbelt. Probably not. They'll still, it's your fault. We saw it on video. All right. Um, all right. Well, I don't like the way that fits in there. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get his hand on that controller without breaking it. All right, so he's got his hand on the controller. He's in there. All right, that's how the seat belt should have came, come across. So it was just like that. All right, she does have a helmet, so theoretically she can be in there with her helmet. But then you just pull those seat belts back up and get it in there. So we do got two people in the craft. All right, so I got these guys in the cockpit. Got the canopy down. I'm gonna get uh, this window kind of open. That's kind of cool. And then, so we can get this canopy open. And that's what that would look like. And what we're going to do is just, that's how it illuminates them in the cockpit. That looks pretty good when they're doing some night flying. That green looks really cool in there. Yeah, that looks cool. But the one thing that I wanted to show you was that it came with this little disc. And this little clear stand, which is all wrapped in saran wrap. And we're going to... Just click that. It doesn't feel like it's very sturdy, but when you get this helicopter up, there's two pegs right there. You just take this piece off and you just set that down right on those two pegs like that. And you've got your helicopter in flight mode displayed. How cool is that? All right, and finally, there are some instructions right here if you need them. There's um, these decal sets here, and uh, they look really cool. I'll probably never pull these off of these cards. We'll see. We'll see how I wanna decorate that. But it's interesting because they're on this back of this foil type of card, which makes me think these are the repositional decals of which the Ghostbusters HasLab people are talking about. So if they are, I may look at them and just figure out how repositionable they are just for that. All right, this is Wild Bill. He looks awesome in his Western wear, and I was really glad to get him as part of this set. Can't wait for a regular release so we can get him maybe in slightly a different look, but I hope that hopefully more of these guys will come up with their double guns because, man, that looks really, really cool. So that is the G.I. Joe HasLab Dragonfly. And... Just a quick look at the four figures. If you want to see them in more detail, check out my other video, which is on my channel now. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I really appreciate it. And as always, have a fantastic day.